Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Tonight I wanted to share with you my bath and beauty empties for March. Uh, so if you, my, I'm filming outside because it's so beautiful out. Um, there's a nice breeze and I'm out here with Willow. Everybody else is inside, so I apologize in advance if you hear noise. Um, my kids are watching television, and you may hear them. So, there we go. So, let's hop right into it. I'm going to start. I pulled the hand soaps so far. Um, so, from Bath & Body Works, we have Afternoon Apple Picking. And this was in the Deep Cleansing hand soap. This was delicious. This smelled like seriously fresh picked Macintosh apples. If you've ever gone apple picking, you are familiar with that scent. So we finished that up. I'm just, if you hear dropping, I am putting it into my recycling bin. We will stick with Bath and Body Works. We did a kitchen lemon. Again, another deep cleansing. I love this scent in my kitchen. It just goes perfectly. It is a uh, fresh, fresh, raw lemon, and can't go wrong there. So we have that one. We also finished up Sunlight and Apple Trees, and this was in the Gentle Foaming with essential oils. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, this one is definitely a, is sweeter than the apple, the afternoon apple picking. Um, this was good. I did enjoy it. I'm not really picky as long as the soap doesn't smell gross, <laughs> um, which you'll see next month. I did have a couple. I will have a couple for April that are not my favorites. Um, but as long as they smell good and everybody has clean hands, we are doing just great. Um, from Mrs. Myers, I have Plum Berry Scents. I loved this so much. I had this upstairs in my master bathroom, and my husband complained about this. He did not like the smell of this, but that's too bad because another bottle is going to be going in there because um, we are almost done with a, I think it's a vanilla sugar or something. Um, and then this one will be going in. I really like it and it has, it's made with olive oil and aloe vera. So I feel that it's a very, um, like nourishing and not so drying and abrasive to my hands. Um, my hands are to the point of, they are like peeling and bleeding. Um, We don't need to get into the whole hand washing thing. I'm just home more, so I feel like I'm washing my hands more. That's it. Um, I think that we all are good about washing our hands, but with everybody being home so much, that's the reason why I feel like we're going through more soap. This I had in the boys' bathroom. This was mahogany teak wood, and this was the gentle foaming. I did not like this one. I don't wash my hands in their bathroom. I don't go, I mean, I go in their bathroom to clean it. I don't like this. Ugh. I know there are huge fans of mahogany. It's just too, I don't know. It's nauseating to me. I don't like it. Uh, it's definitely super masculine. And who cares, though? They wash their hands, and that's all that really matters. Okay. What else do we have? Lots of garbage, you guys. Lots. And lots and lots. Okay, so I finished up a, a Dawn Platinum Special Value. I don't know why it was a special value. Maybe I got this at the Dollar Tree. I kind of think I didn't, though. But um, just regular dishwashing liquid. I wash some things by hand, and then some things go in the dishwasher. So there's that. Another um, dish soap is Orange Clove from Mrs. Myers. I love the smell of this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, just like a crisp, like awakening, invigorating, I guess is what I'm looking for, type of scent. And I just dropped the cap. Love this. And I think I, 
Do I still have this in counter clean? I'm not sure, but I love this scent and I will definitely get it again. We went through a couple mouthwash mouthwashes, um, Equate Tartar Control Plus in Blue Mint in the 50.7 fluid ounces and a anti-cavity alcohol-free fresh mint. I think my boys use this and I use this. So great, clean mouth, clean breath. From Method, I used this Squirt and Mop for hard floor. This was in the Spearmint and Sage. I love this. I really love this. Oh, again, super clean smelling, deliciousness. I, well, there's a couple that I use. I use this. I use the Method. Um, there's like a, is it almonds? I want to say it's almonds. I'll use that one. And then there's a Grove brand one that I use that I'm really in love with, which You'll eventually see it in empty because it's a concentrate. Um, but this is fantastic. It works great. It really does not um, streak my floors. The scent is very, very pleasant and quite long lasting. And seriously, with this stuff, this is, let me see, what were the ounces on this? 25 fluid ounces. This a little goes a long way with this. Um, so I don't use this upstairs. This is strictly for downstairs. So, fantastic. Let me get back up again and see what we have. What exciting things do we possess? Okay, just super random. I'm not pulling in any type of order, so I apologize for that. This is the e.l.f. Um, makeup mist. So, like a setting spray. Uh, this was fine. It's definitely... Um, Works great for setting your makeup. I do have one that I prefer prefer more. Was this one like a cucumber? I don't know. Green tea, something. Yes, green tea, aloe. This worked fine. Um, I don't wear makeup every single day when I'm working. It just depends on how much time I allow myself in the morning. But it worked, and I would repurchase it, and it's a fantastic price. From Mario Badescu, I use this glycolic foaming cleanser. I love this stuff. I really love it. I don't have any more. I've had big bottles of it and then these small bottles, and my skin feels so clean after using this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It really does a great job. It doesn't strip your skin. It doesn't feel dry after. But I have other cleansers that I really just, I need to work on. I'm trying for the month of April and probably May to use up like sample size stuff. Um, I just don't want things sitting and going bad. So I will hold off on repurchasing this. I'm sorry, Willow, here's the dog next door. Um, I will hold off on repurchasing this until I've worked my way through other cleansers. But if you are in the market for a really great like deep cleanser but that's something that's safe enough to use like every single day strongly strongly suggest this used up a secret invisible solid and clean lavender um, didn't I didn't love the scent um, but I didn't hate it this was a great. I mean, it, I didn't stink. It did what it was supposed to. I tend to always have a regular deodorant and a um, more natural deodorant that I use. Um, so I do use deodorant every day. I just don't go through it as quickly because I think currently on my, um, kit, my kitchen, my bathroom, sink area my vanity I have like four open deodorants so I just don't go through them as quickly went through a nail polish remover the acetone I think this was from the Dollar Tree maybe Walmart's I'm not sure but it does what it's supposed to it takes off your nail polish and we need From Lush, I use a shower jelly in Whoosh. That's how you say it. Whoosh. I don't know if it says the scents. Um, I don't think I use this. I think my youngest son used this. This was very citrusy. Heavier on the lemon lime. 
than like an orange, but he, I'm gonna have a problem with him because he likes Lush. So yeah, he used that and liked it. And he has a very, very, very sensitive skin. Um, he's got tons of allergies, asthma. He had eczema when he was little. I think we're past that now, but his skin gets super, super dry. So I try to be careful. This did not do anything negative to his skin. So we would get that again if that was something that he liked. Sorry, unorganized. Okay. I used up from Eva New York. Even NYC, I guess that's how you say it. This is a Satin Dream Leave-In Cream. So this works really nicely. Um, my hair tends to get frizzy. And this stuff worked. Um, I used this in place of conditioner. I was afraid if I used a like washout conditioner and then put this in that it would be too heavy on my hair. I have very, very thick, thick hair and it's shoulder length. Um, so I used this after washing my hair and not putting in conditioner and it worked great and my hair was not frizzy. So uh, would I repurchase it? I don't know. I have other hair products I need to work through. So perhaps I'll revisit it in a later time. I finished up a Shea Natural Clarifying Facial Wash and Scrub. I liked this. I like a good exfoliant. Um, I didn't love the sense of this. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would be like a little bit more like earthy smelling, but it was like wanted to be earthy, but was kind of perfumed. So, and I didn't notice anything. Whoops. I didn't notice that it did anything like fantastic to my skin. And I have other exfoliants. Um, so you do not smell the tea tree oil in this though. So if you are looking for something, give this a check. It's drugstore prices. My teenage son used up a Old Spice Deep Sea. Um, I think Old Spice is his favorite deodorant. He, which I, I always associate Old Spice with like old men, <laughs> but he always asks for Old Spice and he goes back and forth on scents that he likes. This is a little too sea salt, like sea salt air, uh, but I'm not the one wearing it and he smells clean, so it works for him. I talk about this all the time. I get it in different, uh, you know, equate, wherever. However you pronounce that, I should know how because I've been taking this for a long time. My uh, oncologist recommended this and I seriously need this every single day. If I do not take it, it's not a good day for me. So this is like an acid reducer, but I feel like it does so much more. So love this stuff. Cannot be without it. I buy it usually in like, it comes in like a three pack from Walmart. That seems to be where I get the best bang for my buck I do not I'm not a Sam's Club or a Costco member so I get it at the drugstore I finished this up this was uni and this is kind of like a non-essential type of product this was a like lavender pillow spray I know, super gimmicky, right? And I'm not a huge um, lavender fan, but this was a calming aromatherapy mask. And I'm telling you, I use this stuff probably every other night on my pillows and on my comforter that like touches me, that's like up close to my face, the part of the comforter. I don't know. Do I think I got better sleep? Yes. <sighs> Was it all in my head? Possibly. But it was a really nice scent to fall asleep to. So I'm not going to go and like seek it out and get it. But I really enjoyed it while I had it. Used up a Colgate Icy Blast Whitening. Excuse all the crud that was in my kids' room. Toothpaste. Cleans everybody's teeth. We're happy. 
Dove Men Care Dry Spray in Clean Comfort. I actually use this. And you guys, it says 48 hours. I don't know because I would never. I love the scent of this. It looks like a little. It reminds me of a woman's perfume that I had like 100 years ago. This is so good. And it worked and it felt moisturizing. Um, so it was a sam like a sample size. I would totally, I mean, I, if I got, if it was sent to me like in a subscription box or something, I totally use it. I liked it and it worked. Talked about this 80,000 times. This is the brand that we use. Blend of chamomile, chamomile and melatonin, the sleep aid for children, for relief of occasional sleepiness. We go through this for my 11 year old. Um, my pediatrician knows about it in case anybody wants to tell me it's not good. Um, it works for him. He definitely needs it. He struggles with sleep just like I do. So anything that I can do to help aid in a more natural form to have him get sleep because he definitely needs it um, and it's safe and effective, I'm going to use that. So this stuff is amazing. I get it off of Amazon and makes everybody in my household restful. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just have saw so, I have too much crap this time. So you might want to get yourself a drink. I use this up from oh my god, it's like wet dream or something. Sugar scrub. She is a oh it smells so delicious. Um, this was like a firesidey type of scent. If you guys can see that, it's starting to get dark here. Wet Dreams Body Boutique. I don't know what scent this does it say it up here? Of course it does. Oh my gosh. This was it was I guess she collaborated with Swanky and this was Fireside Cream Cake. This was delicious. Oh my god, so good. I first well the this lady's company she used to be a youtuber for wax and i loved her channel um she did hauls reviews and stuff like that and then she opened up her own business a few years ago anyway now and um she does body products she does not do wax and this was delicious this was a uh, like marshmallow fireside scent and it was a delicious body scrub and i enjoyed every minute of it a another um Dove Men's Care in Clean Comfort. I used this. Loved it. It was great. Thank you so much. From Aveda, I used this Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. I was hoping that this would help so that my ends would not be frizzy, but it didn't do that for me. I know people rave about this. It was okay. Um, I would use it again, but I would not. Whoops. I would not. Um purchase this. I think it's a little bit pricey for what it does for me. It says it's a daily hair repair. Instant visible. Protects from heat styling. My ends were still frizzy, so it was a no-go for me. Living Proof. Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Uh, yeah, no. My hair felt greasy. Like, I could totally feel the product in my hair after using this. Perhaps down the road I would revisit it, revisit it again. Maybe it just wasn't like conducive to the shampoo that I've used prior, you know, days before. But ugh, I could just, when I would use it and then go to work and like touch my hair, I could just constantly feel like I had product in it. So I don't know, would I rather have my hair feel greasy or like product? I'm still on the fence about that. The boys used up this lemon gel cleanser cuts through oil and dissolves dirt i have a 14 year old and 11 year old son so they use this they loved the smell of it it does smell delicious zesty lemon um i still have to tell them every single night and morning like wash your face brush your teeth i'm hoping that that ends soon that i don't have to constantly remind them because i feel like if i don't tell them they won't do it and there's a little schmutz up there but this was good um 
so far, my 14 year old does not have bad skin. Um, I don't know if that's his genes because I didn't have bad skin as a teenager or if it's just because I'm constantly on him about washing his face. So he uses this. Then we have a, um, I don't think it's by Clean and Clear. I think it's a Clearasil like deep cleanser that he uses once or twice a week. And then other than that, he uses um, Philosophy Purity. Is it Purity? Yeah. He uses that as a daily one and then he'll use other things like in between and he uses a not a clarisonic but it's like a little small thing i can't think of the name of the device but i got it for him uh for his 13th birthday uh Foreo. yes he uses that so maybe that's also helping keeping his skin clean i used up this came in a either a walmart or a target box beauty box i gotta pick this coupon off which it's probably expired by now but this was a love and planet uh, concentrated laundry detergent in lavender and argon argon oil smells smells good like a very herbal lavender on cold it was just a small I got a couple you know loads of laundry out of this it didn't stay on the clothes my clothes were clean but did I think it was anything exceptional no, clean my clothes, but again, if this was like cheaper than my normal detergent, I would pick it up, but I'm not like going to switch over to this detergent. Okay, we still have more. Get yourself a snack, like I said. All right, loved this stuff, you guys. Whoops, stand up here. This is the Alterna um, Color Hold, I think it's like Vibrancy Serum, Caviar Anti-Aging. I loved this stuff. My sister-in-law turned me on to this. It smells delicious. It smells like candy. And after you wash and condition your hair, um, I would like towel dry it like very ever so lightly and then I'd put like a pump or two into my hand and then run it through the ends of my hair no frizz at all um even if i just let it air dry the stuff was fantastic and it, it seriously lasted me forever i have not repurchased it but it really does work and i'm starting to think like i should get it again so this i definitely would repurchase um i think i ordered it off amazon because i got like the best deal there it lasted a long time like i said i love that it has the little pump right there for it fantastic smelt delicious and um, it really worked on my thick thick frizzy ended hair so that was a good one used up uh, from Bosha this clear no this detoxifying black cleanser I loved this stuff you guys this is black it comes out black and it stopped pumping probably when I like was like to here. It just stopped. I tried everything. I cleaned out the the pump on it. See, there's still a little bit more in there. That's gross. Um, okay, so it gives you that like hot feeling when it's on your face. I loved it. Um, I had to resort to using it in my shower because I had to take the nozzle out and pour it into my hand which I'm sorry this stuff is pricey and for the price of this I don't want to work that hard to get a product out so shame on you for having such a shitty dispense mechanism because I would totally repurchase this but I'm not going to because I just think that the pump stops working and it was really super aggravating and then the black schmutz would get in my sh I just it's too bad because it was a really great product, but that's enough for me. We, I, I used up this Vitaboost B12. It says a fast acting uh, complex, vegan friendly, 5,000 milligrams. No, MCQ. It's not milligrams, is it? No. This was raspberry flavored. Um, I heard, there's a YouTuber that I watch, her name's Little Poet, and she talks about this. 
So I, I trust what she says. I started taking this in the mornings before work because I would feel like at like 12, 31 o'clock, like so tired, which granted, I mean, I get up at five o'clock in the morning, you know, I work all day, I come home, I have kids. Um, my day doesn't end when I come home from work, but I just felt so sluggish and I felt like what the actual hell and I can't, coffee does affect me after a certain time. So I started taking this and I did honestly know a different, notice a difference. Not right away. It took about six days, I want to say, five or six days. And I definitely felt like a burst. I don't want to say a burst of energy. I didn't feel shaky. I felt like I could continue on for a f like many more hours without feeling tired. And then it didn't affect me going to bed at night. So I definitely want to get this again. I'm going to put it aside so I don't throw it out so that I order it. This was No More Bad Hair Days, Rescue My Hair Mask. I don't even remember this. So to me, it did not work. A body wash, aromatherapy from a hotel. It did what it was supposed to. I loved this stuff. Reika or Rika? Um, Turmeric polish. So this was like a... Um, exfoliating stuff. Nothing's left. I love the smell of this. It is so clean smelling and my skin looked amazing using this. I'm going to put this aside too and try to get this again because it did really good things for my skin. I used up this Neutrogena uh, Norwegian hand cream. I've been using this for a bazillion years. I think since I was like 18 and I'm old now. It doesn't have really have a smell, and usually I cut, which I probably do after the video. I usually cut this to get more out of it. A tiny, tiny, tiny little bit goes such a long way, and it really, really works. So I used up a swab coconut milk uh, deep conditioning mask. Love these. You guys know. Won't say anything negative about hair masks. Okay, a few more things I'm really trying to get through this quickly. Um, this way, what are you? A body cleanser? Yeah, for the price, no. Stick with your suave, your dove. It smelled so freaking good though, you guys. But it was so little. I probably got two showers out of it. But I like that it, you really get, see, you really get every last drop out of it and it smells so good but my skin didn't feel like a million dollars after and this stuff is pricey so would not repurchase i used a hello uh the black charcoal toothpaste my teeth are clean used a tart mermaid skin um i think this was like a hyaluronic acid or a moisturizer type of thing. This was good. Again, wish there was a little bit more so I could really test it out. Maybe down the road I'll purchase the full size. A crust total white or crust white clean teeth again. This was a fully charged mascara by Pure. This dried out fast. I do like the wands. But, mm, can I do this without looking? Um, it dried out, and the last two times that I used it, it like massively flaked. So, that would be a no. From Olay, this Retinol 24. Um, while I liked the feel of this, and it didn't really smell like anything, it kind of reminded me of like this, like water, um, this peel, Pilled, pilled up so badly on my skin. So maybe it's just the time of year that I used it that it wasn't um, workable for me, but that would be a big no. I love this stuff. This is Belief Under Eye Cream. I love this. I love how it smells. It's so clean. Um, this I used at night. 
I think, I hope I have one more of these. Belief, um, 